All right, today I'm going to show you guys how to disassemble a Mannlicher Schoenauer bolt. Um, this is a Mannlicher Schoenauer I just recently picked up. It's a model 1908 and 8x56 uh, Mannlicher Schoenauer. These things are really a work of art, um, just a beautiful Germanic style. Um, it's that Mannlicher style done right. It's what all the others including Ruger's strive for this balance and this fit. Uh, it's just, until you have held one in your hand, it's hard to describe how nice they are. But anyways, I'm gonna go over just the bolt disassembly. So I'm gonna pull the bolt out here, which is just from this bolt release there. And the bolt comes out. Okay, so when you pull the bolt out of the gun, this is the position it's gonna be in. It's gonna be off safe, and kind of in the cocked position where you have tension on that firing pin and uh, cocking assembly. So first step is to rotate this back piece counterclockwise and to kind of decock it. So I find it's best to kind of grab the handle like this, rotate that down. Um, you relieved a lot of spring pressure there. You should see the firing pin protruding out, the, out of the front of the bolt face here. Now you're gonna depress this safety. You're gonna kind of push it in and then rotate it 90 degrees. Then you'll take this end cap here, turn that 90 degrees counterclockwise, remove it. Then you can rotate this back to where it was and this will slide out and have a little spring attached to it. Next, your caulking piece will come off and you'll see the back of the firing pin is exposed. A lot of people will when this bolt is assembly assembled, they will see this slot in the back here and immediately try to hit that with a screwdriver. As you can see though, when you have your caulking piece on here, that is actually supposed to be, or your end cap, uh, that's supposed to be, that's kind of like a timing mark. Uh, there's no need to unscrew that screw. Now, we're gonna come to the front here. I'm gonna rotate this counterclockwise. This is gonna be under spring firing pin spring tension. So it's got a lot of firing pin. Once you get it to a certain point, you're gonna to have to fight that a little bit. So you're gonna rotate it, going counterclockwise here, and it releases. So now you have your bolt body that is separate, your firing pin spring, your firing pin, and then your bolt head. Now, using that screwdriver, and like I mentioned before, it's a 150-3 screwdriver bit from Brownells. You just unscrew that. And your ejector will slide forward and out. Uh, this gives you good access to that bolt head to clean. I don't recommend removing this extractor. Uh, is it, that is a very hard to find part and good chance there's, it's possible to break it. So I would just leave that alone where it's at. Now for reassembly, it's just the opposite. You're gonna slide that in. You can see it's kind of dovetailed there. I'm gonna slide that in. Reinsert the screw here. And you don't, don't need to go super tight on it. Insert your firing pin into the bolt head. Firing pin spring inside the bolt. You're gonna wanna kinda pay attention to how it came off when you did that. I really don't remember, so I'm just gonna try to do it from memory. Or I might have it wrong this first time. Push it in. Okay, so I think I might have to go the other way. Nope, I had the right direction there, I just didn't get it. Okay, there we go. You got to kind of find that slot. I think I was pushing in a little too far because there's might be a thou or so gap there. Now rotate it around to 180 degrees to where it was. Now your caulking piece, sliding that on. Your thumb safety, push it in and out so it's kind of in that vertical position. Slide that on clockwise. And then to recock it, you're gonna kind of pull back and twist clockwise. 
So now your bolt is back together and ready to go. Uh, these things are, like I said before, they're kind of works of art, especially once you take them apart. The insides are just perfectly polished. I'm not sure how that is in the military models. I'm assuming it's not as good as it is on the commercial models, but uh, either way, if you have a man looker, these are excellent rifles and just a ton of fun. Uh, I hope you liked the video. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. Uh, if you liked it, let me know. I appreciate it, and I'll link to this screwdriver bit in the bottom.